So what we managed to achieve so far is that our platform is moving left and right and our player can jump on the platform and when he does he will begin to move along with the platform. One problem we have here though is if the player jumps he still moves along with that platform. Now this is something that we don't want. Well in order to fix this we need to bring in our main camera on board. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go under add component and we're going to say here box collider 2d and add a box collider 2d to our camera i'm going to set it to be a trigger and i am gonna move it down like here resize it on the y-axis something like this and resize it on the x-axis and bring it down just somewhere around here so that when our player has landed on a platform he will actually collide with that collider that's while well on the camera. And what I'm about to do here, let me just go for the first platform. I'm going to put it, well, which is right here at six. That's good for the platform. And for the main camera, it's going to be at 3.66. Or am I going to put it here position? Well, I'm going to put it here at zero. Zero will be for the camera here, and as I said, we'll leave it like this. Later on, if we have something to change, then we will change that. And what we want to do now is we need to go in our player class. So if we go in our player class, which is right here, player script, here in on trigger enter to D. So now we are checking on trigger enter. Previously we checked on collision enter, but we wrote it right here and it's the same thing. But on trigger enter works only if we, like in this case, we clicked here is trigger. Notice here for the cameras collider box collider 2D, we click this is trigger. So when you clicked is trigger, on collision will not work anymore. On collision enter and on collision exit will not work anymore, but on trigger enter and on trigger exit will now work. And what's the difference between a trigger and a collider, you might ask? Well, notice our first platform. This is just quickly to demonstrate. The is trigger is not checked. If we run the game, everything is cool. Our Santa stands on the first platform and we are good to go. But if I click this or check is trigger for the first platform, notice what will happen. If I click to play the game now, Santa falls down. So that's the difference between is trigger and it's not trigger. So practically is trigger will make objects collide with each other and register that collision, but it will let the object pass through it. But if this is trigger is not checked, we can use on collision enter to detect the collision, but the objects will not be able to pass through each other. So here in our trigger enter, what we are going to do, we are going to test if target which is this parameter right here so if target dot tag is equal to main camera and this is the default tag for the main camera if you're not sure you can go here select the main camera see its tag so main camera that's the default tag comes with unity shipped in so if our target dot tag is equal to main camera what we want to do well we want to go here and create another boolean which we are going to say platform bound so platform bound and this one is going to help us to well not stay on our to not stay on the platform when we are not on the platform. So here platform bound is equal to true and we are going to copy the same code on trigger exit and here we are going to say false. On trigger exit will register when the player is well not colliding with that collider which was on the camera. So, for example, at the moment we are colliding with the camera. This is our Santa. So, he is colliding with the camera. As you can see, notice here we are colliding with it. But as soon as we go up like this and we are not colliding with our camera anymore, that on collision or on trigger exit 2D will be triggered to check which was the last object we collided with. And we also need to go here in our update function and we need to change something. So if has jumped and my body's velocity is equal to zero, here we typed has jump is false, transform set parent, but what we need to do here is we need to take this code and we need to say if we are not platform bound. So if we are not bounded by the platform, 
here. So if not bounded by the platform, has jumped is false and transform set parent transform. Now this right here will still not work because what we need to do is we need to include our camera. So we need to go in our project and in the scripts here, I'm gonna create a new folder. So create folder, this is gonna be camera script. And here I am gonna create a camera script. So new C sharp script, which is gonna be named camera script. Let me quickly attach it on the camera because usually, what did I do? So yeah, it's attached on the camera. Usually when something is not executing, you probably did not attach the script. So double check that on your game objects if everything is attached. So the camera script is fairly simple. So what we are gonna have is a private Boolean. So private bool can move, which will determine if the camera can move or not. We will have a private float distance, which is 4.1. And I measured this, you can compare it just I will explain it in a second when the camera moves. And we also have a private float new destination. Now we are not gonna have the start function. We are gonna have the update function and we are gonna have here another function which we are gonna call move. So void move, move like this. And inside of the move function, what we are going to do is we are simply going to say new destination is equal to transform.position.y plus the distance. So this will be the new destination for our camera and can move is now equal to true. And we can also, we can go here, we can create a private void, which we are going to say move camera. And inside of this function, we can test if can move, meaning if our camera can move, what we want to do, well, we want to say vector three temp is equal to transform that position. That's for that. What am I typing? Transform that position temp dot y plus equals three f multiplied by time dot delta time and transform that position is equal to temp and we are going to test if transform so transform that position that y is greater than or equal to our new destination then what we are going to do is we are going to say can move is equal to false and we are going to call this in the update so move camera called here in the update function. Now this is gonna move the camera and before we move it, I cannot explain what is going on here. We're simply while well, moving it, but this distance and destination, we, I will explain in a second. But before that, we need to go in the player class or player script and we need to create a delegation because our class camera script class or well, camera script needs to subscribe to this delegation. So here I am gonna say public, public delegate void, which is gonna be move camera, which this is the name of our delegate and public, so public static event. This is the event for this delegate. If you are not sure what is events and delegation, I have a separate video for that, go and check it out. So here we are gonna say move camera, I'm simply gonna name it move. So this is the name of the variable. So now we can go back in our camera script and we can create two more functions. So void on enable and void on disable. So here is disable. Now people ask me what is on enable? I don't understand and what is on disable? Well, we have start and awake, which are called when we start our game. The first function is called, the one that is called is the awake function. After it, on enable, and after that, start function. And when we destroy the game object or deactivate it or move to another scene, so when we move from one scene to another scene, all of the game objects in the previous scene will be destroyed. And when a game object is destroyed or deactivated, on disable will be called. And this is the best place where we can subscribe to an event. So here in on enable, we are going to say player script dot move plus equals move. And here we are going to say minus equals move. So this is really important that we say minus equals to unsubscribe. Now, 
as I said, if you're not sure what are delegation, what is delegation, take a look at, well, delegation, separate video, pause this one, take a look at delegation. But practically, we are simply subscribing to this event here from the camera script with this function right here. So if we call this event here to be executed in the player script, it will inform the camera script, hey, please execute the move event, which will execute this function. As I said, if you're not sure, take a look at the video that I have for delegation. Now, inside of our update function, after we set the transform parent, we are gonna test if our move is not equal to null, meaning if at least one script has subscribed to this event, we are simply going to call our move event, which will move the camera. So now we will be able to move the camera. I also remember that we need to go back and fix one more issue. Now this else if statement needs to be right here. So it comes here. If we are not bounded by the platform, then else if is going to be here or otherwise we will not be able to jump between or through our platform without it obscuring us. So if I go back now, notice if I run the game and try to jump below it, now this actually works and our, our Santa is jumping only in one direction and it is not moved by the platform. If we jump on the platform, we will move upwards. Now the platform is down, we cannot see it and the player will follow the platform still. But, and also when we land on the platform, it will go up again. But what we need to do to fix that is we need to create more platforms. We need to add some more features to the game, which we will do in the next video. But the important thing is that now our player can jump below. So he can simply jump below the platform without it obscuring it. The camera is moving upwards. And notice this, what I said, notice how the camera moved from one place. So it moved from here up to, well, notice here, like this. Now, this is what I was talking about. If I go back here and we have our camera script. So we have the distance that will be where the camera will go. So the distance between this position where the camera currently is to where the camera needs to go. So this is that distance. Practically, notice if I run the game, this is where the camera currently is. And notice when we land, this is that distance. So this is the distance that the camera has just passed. And that's 4.1. Now I have tested this on my own. We can remove it. We can reposition the camera. We'll start fixing these issues that we have. Don't worry about it. And here we have the new destination. The destination will determine where we need to go next. So we see here the current, we are taking the current position where we are, plus the distance, that will be our destination. And here where, while we are moving the camera, we are checking at the end if our current position is greater or equal to the new destination where we need to go, then we are gonna stop the camera. So this is what we are doing here. And notice how we are moving the camera. Well, when we go here and when we are not platform bound, so when the player has jumped and the velocity is zero, we are not platform bound, then we call our move event, which is this one right here, where we subscribe to it in the, well, camera script, which will call this function, which will set the new destination and set can move to true, which will start moving the camera to that new destination. Now, as I said, we still have issues, which we will start fixing from the next video. So don't worry about it. But this was for this video. We moved the camera. We, well, fix some of the issues that we have, but there is more to go. And we will continue with that in the next video.